Hey everyone, my name is Ian Miller of Shimoda Designs. Welcome to the very first episode of Customer Spotlight. For the first show, I headed to Montreal, Canada, where I met up with one of our Kickstarter backers and talented photographer by the name of Fadi Hagi. As chance would have it, Fadi was setting up for his very first uh, photo exhibition the day I could visit, and that ended up making a, a really nice background for our conversation. This is our first episode. I really hope you enjoy it. We're like in the plateau of Montreal. It's kind of a, like a hipster area, like I, not far from my house, which was convenient to bring all the stuff here. And it's more like a, you know, easygoing vibe area compared to downtown where it's like hustle and bustle. You now I live like north of here, like t 20 minutes away. So I have like Montreal North. Uh, no, but uh, aspiring hipster, maybe. <laughs> all right. Almost all my trips are sold because if I if, if I go with someone, you have to accommodate them in a way. So it's always better going alone, I find. This is in Quebec, in Gaspé, is like ten hours from here, and uh, this is a new picture. The other one was a, an older picture, and uh, like I said, I went there camping three days. Pretty much drove like 2,000 kilometer going back and forth. It took like 10 hours to get there. But once I got there, like I got up in the morning, the first day I got that picture, but the rest two days were just raining and I couldn't get any more pictures and I just drove back. But it was still a nice area to kind of see and photograph. And I'll probably go back, but you know, I don't know when. Does it look straight? Does it look straight? Does yeah. the level set it straight? It says <laughs> yeah, it's straight, but I trust the visual. <laughs> I kind of had an idea I wanted to do mountains and seascapes and when I saw the way it's set up having two displays and just kind of closed down the middle like this perfect space for that so I can have one section being mountains one section being seascapes. Yeah, so this one I shot at Herbert Lake. It was in Banff National Park but it's easy to find this location it's just right off the highway. It's a small lake and it's super super calm so it, you get some color reflections on a, on a not so windy day. And I think it was like morning, but the sunrise wasn't much and it was kind of foggy. And then eventually it kind of got clear and I got a little bit of light coming in from the side and a bit of smoke kind of come rising out of the mountain. It looked like as if it was just, you know, the mountain was making this, the clouds, you know, and I did a long exposure to kind of smooth out the water. And I think I also liked the, the mist that was on the lake. It just there's a little bit of mist there. I mean, when I started out, it was, a, I took a black and white course, like maybe about when I was 18, so it must have been more than 10 years. But I've kind of dabbled all, in all kinds of different types of photography. And for the last two years, I've been kind of focusing mainly on landscape and traveling around and taking pictures. I always follow a photographer on YouTube. His name is Thomas Heaton. Ever since he started, he was one of the early ones that started on YouTube and he gained a qu follow, quite a following quickly. But I've always liked his videos. I, they actually inspired me to go out and take pictures. And then I thought, why not do the videos as well? Since I already kind of want to take this seriously and I figured there's one way to go about it to get, kind of get exposure and get your word out there. I'm a hobbyist, hoping to be a professional, so somewhere in the middle, but a serious hobbyist, I would say. Right now, I do it pretty much every weekend. I go on a trip somewhere. I just pretty much decide where to go every weekend, book a place and just go and take pictures. 